Now, you'd think that making your wife happy will get her back, right? Get her smiling and agreeing with you will lead to a smooth sailing toward an island of marital bliss. No. In fact, thinking that your wife wants you to agree with her is a faulty idea underpinning 80% of divorces, I would argue. This isn't some BS statistic, by the way, that I just pulled out of my head, right? When I talk to men, I come across 80% of the guys that suffer from this exact issue we're going to go over and fix today. Once you learn how to properly reject your wife, she does come back. Let me explain. By the end of today's video, hi, I'm Josh Hudson, by the way, a licensed therapist who found a better way to save marriages than when I use traditional marriage counseling. Today, you are going to learn the art form of rejecting your wife and how it will lead you to getting her wanting you more. Again, let's start off by seeing if Joseph's story is a lot like your own. He grew up with a military father in a God-fearing home. Early on in his adult life, he was the guy, you know, like the guy, him, right? Friends with everyone, confident, socially free. When he met his wife, Anna, in college, things just naturally clicked. Then fast forward 23 years later in their story, they have two kids and a thriving career and Joseph could have never been more miserable. You wouldn't even recognize him anymore. He used to be ripped and he could literally just bust out 50 push-ups any time of the day if you asked him. And his wife used to fawn all over him. She would melt into his arms whenever she could. And now she's this rigid, cold, demanding, downright mean woman. So how did such a great guy get here now? And more importantly, how does he get out? The first week Joseph came to see us, he was completely lost. His ego was shattered. And what a beautiful thing. Do you see? Because there are a few tall tale signs that guarantee a man won't win his wife back. We never work with domestic violence cases, men in active addiction, and men who blame their wives for where they're currently at. I would say ego, your ego, most men's ego, is one of the main things that stops men from getting the wife back. You have to surrender to the art of not knowing why you're at where you're at and how to get there. Knowing can be useful, but learning not to know creates a powerful openness that is inconceivable until it is experienced. Only when we realize that beliefs are not the truth will the door of possibility open so that we can experience what is true. That's a quote from Peter Ralston. I wish it was my words, but Peter Ralston. So this is the first empathy. And even myself, when I experience troubles with my partner, I act like I know everything because it's literally what I do for a living. But the moments I act like I don't know with my partner, it allows us to communicate in a way to understand each other more deeply. So a few weeks went by and Joseph started meeting other men in our program who challenged additional beliefs he had. He would come on group calls every single day with our expert coaches, absorbed my training, and had his one-on-one calls with his personalized coach. And he started to adopt the new beliefs of what I call the apex male. This allowed him to increase his communication skills, so he fought less with his wife. He became more high status in his nonverbal presentation. He was unreactive to his wife, and she perceived him that way. And his frame control would manifest attraction from his wife on a day-to-day -day basis. But there was one key skill that he struggled with the most. Now, everything came to a head one night with his wife. You see, six weeks went by since joining the program. He lost 26 pounds and he gained two dates with his wife at this point. He was on a fast track towards reconciliation due to everything he had learned at that point. But he had to face one final test with her. His wife came to him one night and said that she was going on a trip with their two kids and another man and his two kids, okay? Now, Joseph knew this guy in a way. The man was recently divorced himself and he always suspected something was just off with him, the, his vibe. You, know, you could just pick up something from someone. Now, it's not that the guy was a bad guy per se, but he rarely made eye contact when they shook hands. I mean, in Joseph's words, there's only three men that would do that. A man who's insecure, right? The devil, and a man that wants to sleep with your wife. You know, Joseph was lost because on one side, this voice was telling him that he should like walk up to the guy and say, hey, like, what are you doing? And just involve himself and talk to his wife about it and just have this controlling nature. But with the help of the coaches, the whole community, he realized there was a different way to approach this from a high status perspective. He simply walked up to his wife and said, you know what? I understand that man has different intentions. I can just feel that. Whether you see that or not, that's totally fine. And honestly, you can do what you want to do. I know where my boundaries are and I respect and trust you to do honestly what you think is best for us. And I know that if something were to happen, you were to tell me. So because of that, I want you to have a good time. I expect you to call me every night so we can talk and so I can hear the kids. Other than that, have a great time. 
Now, this idea is striking a balance between being this weak beta male who has no boundaries, loses respect, and this controlling a-hole that just pushes his wife away because she feels pressure. This beautiful balance is the apex self, and it creates this boundary of like, this is who I am, this is what I want, this frame, but I'm still allowing you to enter in and out of this frame. He stated his boundaries, not from a place of emotion, not from a place of fear, but it is what it is. I know who I am, I know what I want, and that is what's gonna happen. And when you can hold that personal power, it is magic, okay, it is magic. And Joseph would have never gotten there if he didn't have a whole community challenging and supporting him across this whole entire process. His wife went on the trip and Joseph knows for a fact that nothing happened. He called every single night and when she came back, she wanted to go on a date with him because of just how high value the man was. He was back where he used to be and even better, more confident than ever before. And this would have only happened if he knew how to reject his wife in a way. That skill of just saying, this is what it is, these are my boundaries, and that's what's gonna be. I know it's one of the hardest things because when the idea of rejecting your wife, which all she wants is space and saying, no, 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 like let's fight for this. It has the opposite effect. When it comes to the feminine, when it comes to attraction, it is counter logical. It is counterintuitive what you think works. You think force and resistance and strength and perseverance and will will get you her back. Logic, that's the masculine. But to a woman, that form of the masculine is insecure. What happens is that you must understand at the end of the day, she wants you to seduce her. Seducing, it has a balance of this feminine and this masculine, this perfect balance. That's what originally got at her. So at the end of the day, when a man can strike this perfect balance of being the secure man, but still having his boundaries and rejecting his wife when he usually would just cater to her every need, give her all the space she wants and just let her do whatever she wants. That's what caused her to lose respect and attraction. So as a man, if you are listening to this and you need help striking the mountains, if you need help from that community and you need to learn how to project your wife as a skill to get her back because you have this neediness inside of you that honestly has been there before your wife if you haven't recognized it, but it's always been there. And so if you don't fix this, I've seen it countless times. I don't want you to be the guy that hops from one marriage to the next having the same problems because as the man, you haven't changed. At the end of the day, this opportunity is here for you to work on yourself. And that's what we are all about here is helping them become the best version of themselves. And your wife leaving you, it's it's revealed parts of you to work on. They've always been there. Now that this insecurity is there, it's because the, cir the circumstances allowed to almost break free and show what has always been there under the surface. Does that make sense to you? I hope it does. So if you need support, you can set up a call down below with one of our teams. I would love to speak with you personally myself if you come into the program. But as always, I am saying that this is program is only for men who are fully committed to taking action and are ready to invest in themselves is a premium program. I'm going to argue, I'm a little biased, that we are the best program in the world in helping men save their marriages, and that's based on the 100 results. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Watch this other video right here. It's been a long day. I love you. Take care.